Hey everyone, welcome back to One Room Over Gaming. Uh, today we're going to be playing the Concierge again. And last time I played this, I discovered I was a Concierge. I was groped by a spiritual hand. I saw a lot of writing and blood on the walls. And I got some... I got a lever and some string. And I gave a guy some alcohol. So that's about... that. That's a pretty good wrap-up of what happened last time. So now... I have to do stuff, and I forgot what stuff I have to do. No, I think I know where I am. Okay, I've been here before. And if I remember right, yep, there was the picture I took down in the lever, and it says I... It's stuck and it won't budge. So I have to find a way to budge it. And I am going to go ahead and start exploring other floors. Because I got a key. I gave a I gave Mr. Fring down in the bar some very nice, very top shelf alcohol, and he gave me a key as payment to a key to the third floor hallway. Why he had a key to the third floor hallway, second floor hallway, I don't know. I thought it was the third floor, but this those look like twos. I can't check any of these rooms. So I thought. So yeah, I'm going to go check some other floors that I haven't been to yet. And hopefully find some clues on how to budge my lever. Because that's a problem that no one should have. Alright, just making sure. I don't know if I went over. Oh, it's room. It's it's level 300. Just oddly numbered, I suppose. I don't know if I went over this way last time. Didn't check that trash can. It's not checkable. I don't know who would want to be concierge of a place like this. I really wish I had the option to hit those, to knock on the doors that say do not disturb. I think that'd be kind of funny. If you could just knock, walk up and knock on their doors and be like, Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing in there that you need to hang up a do not disturb sign? You're doing naughty stuff. You're making mud pies. That's what people do in the privacy of their hotel rooms. They make mud pies. And that's not a dirty reference. That's... It's meant to be a childish reference, but not a dirty one, so please don't take it that way. Okay, I'm on the third floor. Let's go to the second floor. Why not? We'll work our way up chronologically. Be all linear and boring. Alright, what do we got? Hello? Can I click on both these paintings? Or is that just telling me I go down the other hall? I'll go to the right first. Nothing ever seems to happen to the right, though. There's never really anything exciting going on. Go stick my hand in another mouse hole. That's the most excitement this place has going on for it, all the random mouse holes. Although I did feel a hand touch me once. And I also got bitten by something. So there's all the excitement in my life. Longest hallway yet. Oh, cool, a door I can go into. That's rare. I really don't like that in, uh, in any... V it's locked. I think it's a storeroom. So I'm gonna need a key. Which I don't have. I just have some string right now. Um, I really don't like that in games. Uh, it's a pretty big... It's, it's very widespread throughout games too there's you're always in a big building with lots of doors and there are like five doors out of 400 that are open to you without keys or anything like that i mean i know i understand it i do you have to explore i mean games would be boring if there wasn't some kind of exploratory element but at the same time it's like how many doors is too many doors. 
especially in a game like this, where you're already driving, driving, nothing useful in here, you're already trying, and I can't even click on that one, okay, well, floor, r level two is boring as hell, one locked door, so we'll go to, honestly, we could go to four, but I actually think I'm going to go to five, because I'm feeling festive. And I love alliteration. I also seem to need a, uh... uh there's something in a toilet in my... In the... Downstairs on the ground floor. And I have to fish down into a toilet. And get something out of it. Oh, sixth floor! I didn't know it went up that high. Makes sense. If you know how to count. Maybe it'll be really spooky up here. We can only hope. What's going on on the sixth floor? All the suites? All the really expensive rooms with good views? Or it's just a sitting area with nothing going on at all. Okay. Can't pull out these drawers. Well, it's really happening up here. And there's, like, no guests in this hotel. I ran into one guest who provided me with some halfway suspicious conversation. But not enough to really benefit me in any way. Click on the pictures, cups, paintings. <laughs> there's a one room up here. That must be a hell of a suite. It gets its very own level. Mouse hole. Anything in the mouse hole? Nothing in the mouse hole. But hey, I got my wish. I can finally go up to someone's room that has a do not disturb sign and say, fuck you. I will disturb you. Or not. There's no one here. Is this even a room? This just looks like more hallway. Alright. Alrighty. Let's go in here. This must be a room. It's just a big, a big fancy room with lots of other doors click nope can't turn off the light bulb uh, anything anything nothing yes no really trying to be thorough with this because I remember the last time I played a game like this I kept walking past clues nothing in that room Seems like a normal bathroom. There's just a big empty room up here with nothing really going on. But why was there a, a do not disturb sign on the door then? If no one's in here. Really, that's it. I better look. I better really look. Oh, I can't turn on the sinks. Nothing. What purpose does this room serve then? Uh, okay, I... I don't know. I have tons of questions, I have no answers. So I can't seem to do anything with the these... There's nothing up here. It's not a trick painting. Okay, well... Room 600 was a big letdown. I don't care for that. Um, I'm going to apologize right now to anyone. Uh, my allergies are acting up a little bit today, and I might sneeze. And if I do, I am sorry in advance. Going to try not to, though. All right. Well, maybe later there will be something going on up here. Maybe that's where Mr. Fring was staying, and he's just not up there right now because he's still down in the bar. Maybe I gotta find some people to talk to. Fifth floor. And I think that'll make the fourth floor the only floor that I haven't visited yet. So hopefully I find something neat quick. 
Go right. I'm the concierge. I've got to inspect this whole building. Nothing, nothing, nothing. They say it's a spooky hotel, but... I don't believe them. Alright. Again, a whole lot of doors. A whole lot of nothing for me to click on. Walk faster, man. Walk with some urgency. You're just casually strolling about the place like you own it. We gotta go. We got stuff to do. Earn that pay, bud. We got... We got things to explore. Gotta find notes. We've gotta find... Lever bits. We've gotta... We've gotta be brave and intrepid and bold. I'm making this sound way too exciting. Man, nothing. Nothing here. These I guess these rooms are just for show. So all I know is I gotta find a way to move that lever and fish uh, something or other out of a toilet. Hairpin in the mouse hole. All right, that's why you stick your hands in random holes. Can I... I made a hook on a string. That is the thing about this game. There's, um... There's definitely a... It's a heavy puzzle element, and you gotta really think... Out... Kind of... Not out... Well, a little outside the box. I, I'm not saying that I'm some genius, but... One might think a hairpin would be used to un to open a door, to unlock a door. But that's just not the case with this. So now, I got myself a little fishing hook. So I'm going toilet fishing. Oh, that sounds so gross. Hotels like these just leave random valuable things floating around in toilets. Not the usual things that would be in toilets. Human excretions. No, no, no. Oh, wait. No, I think I want to go in the staff-only room. Maybe. That's the thing is with these... Did I look in that hole? I probably did. There was probably nothing in there. You just gotta check every hole. Nothing in the mouse hole. Because it would have been easy for me to just walk right... Just leave floor number four without ever checking, and boy, would that have taken a long time. Been boring and stupid. That's my specialty. Was it in the restaurant? It was either in the restaurant or the bar. There's a bathroom down here somewhere. I'll find it. That's about the only thing I'm going to be able to tell you is the concierge in this place is where every bathroom is. Yeah, but you know, it's a... Uh, was there anything in the kitchen I needed to find? It might come in handy. Sometimes guests really need to use that bathroom. Alright. I have it. Yeah, remember there's a fridge that stinks. And then there's a board with orders. And that's where I got the top of the lever, but there's really nothing else in here. So I think the bathroom... It might be accessible via the bar. So let's go back to the bar. And I wonder what my role is going to be in all this. What deep secret does this place hold? What dark and disturbing things have happened in this hotel? If there's... There's the toilet. If there's one thing that horror games have taught me, it's that horror games and horror movies uh, is that buying a house in the 70s almost guaranteed you a haunting, and hotels are never, um, never good places. There's always some horrible seedy secret, some terrible demonic happenings going on 
in them their hotels. There was a key stuck down the toilet. Did someone try to flush it? And who, who would flush a key? Okay, so I know there's two areas right now where I would definitely like a key. One of them is in the elevator. There's a secret, there's a keyhole. And then I think that was on the third floor where there was that locked storage room door. Luckily, I'm gonna, I can try it in the elevator. And if it doesn't work in the elevator, I can just take the elevator up to the third floor. Ain't that handy. Because I still got to find something that helps me out with that lever. So first, old panel with a keyhole. I wonder what it does. I'm guessing this... Oh, see that? Yeah, that's the storeroom key. So I just go straight to the third floor. I'm guessing what this is all leading me to is... Um, finding the key that accesses the secret panel in the elevator that'll probably take me to some secret area where I'll find out all the the dirty misdeeds that have been done over the past in this place and why bellhops won't stay and why guests are afraid to sleep in their rooms or why I can forget entirely what I'm doing was the storeroom on the other side? Can't remember what side the storeroom was on. Okay, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, so I was just on the wrong floor. It was, uh, I went back to the third floor and I forgot I'd already investigated the third floor. I needed the key to go to the storeroom on the second floor. So here I am in the storeroom. And what do you know? A mouse hole. This is probably a mouse hotel. We don't, uh, we don't charge guests to stay here. Exterminators charge us to come and get rid of our mouse problem. Nothing in the mouse hole, huh? Alright, well, there's got to be something in here. Oil. Oil. Can of oil. Okay. That makes sense. We're going to put some oil all over a stuck lever. We're going to fix that fucker right up. I don't remember if I said this in my last playthrough or not, but I'm trying to be... Uh, I In earlier playthroughs, I've been trying to not swear. Um, just for courtesy out of... Because some people don't like it, and I'm not allowed to swear at my job. And so I, you know, I tried to put a filter on myself, but I really feel like it's not really authentic to me because I do uh, tend to swear a little bit more. So, yeah, I'm just going to let it out. If it comes out of me, it comes out of me. What can you do? And if it, if it, if you guys don't like it, I am sorry. I'm not trying to offend anyone, but that's just how I talk. I am a tiny little sailor. All right. Oh my God, you walk so slow, Daniel. I need you to put some pep in your step and let's go, man. There are secrets. Are you, I'm working with this... Th th my concierge here is the least curious guy in the whole world. I mean, he, he could be investigating the world's most haunted hotel. He could be taking a walk through the most beautiful park. He does not care. He is in no hurry. There could be a bear chasing him, and he is just fine with it. Most disinterested son of a bitch in the world. Alright, here we go. I hope lever yeah we are sheep to the slaughter what is that like I've had a few bloody messages and uh what kind of hotel is this the kind that sacrifices people I used oil on the lever sounds like something opened near here oh, okay how near is near <laughs> I'm guessing it's this big black doorway. This big gaping hole. I won't help them. Okay, that's cool. 
Jesus, he's dead. What the hell happened to him? Looks like he was stabbed. He's got something in his hand. Did I... Strange old key. Well, we know what that goes to. Or I suspect I know what that goes to. To the elevator. On second thought, maybe a... Uh, Maybe walking slow is the the key here. I mean, if something bad's going to happen, you don't necessarily want to run to the danger. Run to your horrific demise. Alright, this is it. I'm hoping this is the big payoff. We're going to go. going to go shove a key in a random hole in an elevator. We're going to see where it takes us. I won't help them. So we've got... We are sheep to the slaughter. I won't help them. And then, something ominous that was written in my hotel room. Probably in the vein of, like, we're all gonna die, or you've been lied to. There's always some mystery. Someone somewhere is disingenuous. Alright, elevator. Spill your secrets. Take me. Take me to the basement. Or the roof. Gonna find out. All right, we're in there. That's the key. That's the key I needed. Ooh, shrouded in mystery. All right. Well, clearly, I mean. So that body up there, that see, that guy looked like a cook. I wonder why the cook would be dead in some s random hidden passage. Ooh, that's another fun thing about uh, old spooky hotels. Tons of hidden passages. Same thing with old haunted mansions. Always the hidden passages. That's where the, the secrets happen. Oh, it's you! The only second only other person I've met in the hotel. I was right to not trust that face. That's not a trustworthy face. Daniel, you shouldn't have come. Oh, I wonder if Mr. Fring is going to come down here. Sarah, what's going on? It's too late. Now they have you. Who? That's a li <laughs> Who the hell are all of you? Keep away from us. What do you want? We'll fight. We'll fight. I'll fight all of you and your robed faces. Oh, they want to feed. There it is. They got me. I've been fed upon. Alright. There you have it. Human sacrifice. That's the way it goes. There's always some shady culted situation. Someone somewhere's got to die. Yep, okay, that's the concierge. Um, it's a pretty good little game. I could have... I mean, it was... Some of those extra floors were unnecessary. Uh, I didn't... It kind of... It, it's, it's a little bit of a slower-paced game, if you guys saw. There was a lot of slow walking. But uh, I did considerably better this time than I did with The Restless. So, look at me! Learning! Awesome! Um, this game is available on Game Jolt for a small price, and, uh, I recommend playing it. It's fun. I mean, you don't, you obviously watch me play it, so if you don't just want to play it for yourself, understandable. But if you do, and, uh, he also, Dan Kenny also makes other games. He, he puts them out on a pretty regular basis, so there are other games of his that I haven't played, and I probably, I won't go back and play old games. I just, I'll play his newer games, but, yeah, it was a fun game. Um... I like the problem-solving element, and I think, yeah, I did a lot better this time. I guess the only thing is I, uh, I just have a couple of questions that didn't get answered. Like, what was Sarah's involvement? And what was Mr. Fring's involvement? And also, how... How many concierges... Concierges... Go missing before the police have to get involved? How many people do they feed on? But yeah... Just two characters weren't entirely explained, but I'm sure they have... Maybe they were just 
hotel workers. I don't know. So that is the concierge, and thank you guys all for coming back to One Room Over Gaming and checking out my playthroughs. I'm appreciative for every one of you, uh, and if you guys have anything to say, please write me a comment. I love it. I love reading them. I will respond to them. Uh, yeah, tell me you loved it. Tell me you hate it. Tell me it was boring. Whatever you want to tell me. That's cool. All right. Until next time, I'll see you guys, and you can always catch me one room over. You guys have a good day, and happy gaming. Bye.